What's up guys, what's going on? As you can see, today we're at the First One Athletics Compound, getting a little training session in. But what I wanted to talk to you about today is one of my favorite exercises for the bicep peak, and that's incline dumbbell curls. Let's get into it, guys. First Born Athletics. Wake up, breathe, triumph. Now the bicep muscle is made up of two heads, hence the name biceps. The two heads are the short head as well as the long head. The short head of the bicep runs more along the inside of the arm, while the long head runs more along the outside. The long head is what we're going to be working today, and that's where the bicep peak comes from. Okay, now I just wanted to break down the exercise for you. The long head of the bicep runs over the shoulder joint. Now I'm going to show you why this exercise is great for the bicep peak. You're going to lean back on an inclined bench. Now your arms are going back here. Make sure your shoulders are rolled back. You're protecting those shoulders at all times. When you curl up, you can see that the arms are back here, but you're curling up. Any movement where you have your arms behind you, you are curling up, you're going to be focusing on that peak of the bicep. Now, in the starting position of the incline dumbbell curl, your hands are going to be with your palms facing your legs. That is called a neutral grip. As you are curling up, you're going to slowly twist your wrist. That is called supination. Now, any curl where you're using supination is going to involve more of the overall uh, biceps. It's going to be recru recruiting more of the bicep. It's important to have at least one of the movements in your bicep workout utilize supination. Now, you want to be very careful when you are performing inclined dumbbell curls. Since your arms are behind you, your shoulders are pinned back, it can be easy to injure your shoulder if you eagle lift. So you don't want to use a ton of weight and the beauty of it is you do not have to. Where your arms are being that they're behind you, you can use a lighter amount of weight and you can still get a great pump and um, you know just tear up those muscle fibers. I usually use anywhere from 20 to 30 pound dumbbells. I rarely go heavier than that. Like I said, there's no need to. So just for the purpose of demonstration here, I'm using these adjustable uh, 20 pound weights. Again, you can see my shoulders are rolled back, arms are behind me. You're going to begin to curl up. Remember to put that twist in there, that supination, squeeze, and then right back down to neutral grip. One of the things that I really love about this movement is that since your arms are behind you and once you, you, know, you get up to the top of the movement, you really do feel that squeeze. It's similar to drag curls. If you've ever done those, very similar type of movement. So to wrap it up, incline dumbbell curls are for the muscle peak, for the long head of the bicep. Just some quick tips when you are performing the movement. Keep the weights light. Don't forget to squeeze at the top and to utilize supination. Alright guys, that's going to do it for today's video. As always, I want to thank you guys for hanging out with us. If you found the content valuable, consider subscribing to the channel. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments box down below. And as always, we will see you guys on the next video.